Boom, and welcome to another episode of Nobody Watching. According to a recent story on CNN, Michigan woman Brittany Keach received a postcard mixed in with her regular mail that was sent nearly 100 years ago. After giving it a good look, she noticed the card was postmarked October 29, 1920, and while it had her Belding, Michigan location on it, it was addressed to a Roy McQueen. It said, Dear Cousins, Hope this will find you all well. We are quite well, but Mother has awful lame knees. It is awful cold here. I just finished my history history lesson and I'm going to bed pretty soon. My father is shaving and my mother is telling me your address. I will have to close for a night. Hope grandma and grandpa are well. Don't forget to write us. Roy get his pants fixed yet. Signed, Flossie Burgess. Initially, the story elicits feelings of awe at the notion of an old piece of mail drifting around for a hundred years waiting to be delivered and then finding its way. But deeper thinking reveals potential bigger problems, not the least of which is that in today's climate, any error by the post office is likely to be magnified and negatively attached to the potential problems that come with absentee voting. Imagine your relatives receiving your ballot for Trump a century from now and wondering what was wrong with you. In the report, a Postal Service representative told CNN that in most cases, these incidents do not involve mail that has been lost in our network and later found. What we typically find is that old letters and postcards, sometimes purchased at flea markets, antique shops, and even online, are re-entered into our system. The end result is what we do best. As long as there is a deliverable address and postage, the card or letter gets delivered. Wait, what? What kind of deflection is that? Most cases, that kind of leaves the impression that nobody at the post office has been paying much attention for like a hundred years. When was the last time anyone saw a stamp like that? And while I get using classic vintage or antique cardstock, I'm thinking blank ones are more of what people are using over the ones they've that have already been written out. I mean, who's purchasing old mail to pump it back into the system? How is that old, already postmarked, already sent mail getting that far? Have you ever tried to send something with the wrong postage? Despite the brevity of the card's message, I have other questions too. What became of mother's awful lame knees? Did Flossie realize that from what we know today, the history she learned was probably wrong, or at the very least, misleading? As the card was never delivered to the right person, did Roy and family remember to write back or because you know how tenuous family relationships can be, did this one communication failure send a shockwave through the family, potentially destroying the relationship eternally? What was wrong with Roy's pants, and did he ever get them fixed? Finally, I guess my biggest question from all of this is Flossie. Why aren't there more babies these days being named Flossie? Stand up and be counted. See you next time.